Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to Miraculous Monday. Now today, did we have fan art? We did, we did, I just didn't print it out. We did have fan art, I forgot to print it out. Uh, so this one comes in from Dusted Rose, and uh, the backstory behind this one is it's actually me using Telly's Miraculous I don't did it have a name I don't actually think I named the miraculous itself and the dolphin miraculous I don't know whatever uh, and that's from the art contest so if you missed the art contest that we're doing this month and maybe next month I don't know like how long it's gonna run for that's a question I've been asked a lot like how long is it gonna be at least a month maybe possibly more I don't know we've already gotten a lot of submissions so it might only be a month but I don't know but uh yeah I think this fan art looks great and uh, I didn't expect any anybody to do anything with telly because <laughs> I don't know it was just an example but uh yeah this makes me happy but other than that I don't have any announcements for this week I don't think but uh yeah let's just go ahead and hop right into the top 20 reddit posts for this week I'm so happy that my art made it to Miraculous Monday. These are some sketches I did for my niece who loves Miraculous and unknowingly got me into it. Dang, these look really good. You did a great job with the shading and Tiki's eyes look great on this. But uh, I, I suppose they were in one of the previous Miraculous Mondays, so that's pretty cool. You made it twice. I am Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat is me. Flowers, I hate them. Okay, some people just need a hug from a cactus. Oh boy. Uh, love is in the air, try not to breathe, and then it's a it's a smiley face, although this does look pretty photoshopped, and uh, it's kind of scary, because it, it just, uh, it's not, it doesn't look natural, it's kind of scary, but, um, yeah, I suppose maybe towards the characters, maybe, but like, not necessarily flowers and stuff, but, uh, yeah, I can see where this is going, I suppose, but here's the real question, right? Is it only Marinette and Adrian, or does this also work? Are you also happy with any of the uh, Love Square ships? Does that count as well? I don't know. Me explaining to my mom why Kagami and Adrian can't get together. My mom. Uh, <laughs> your mom is just terrified. It's like, ah, what? I don't know. I don't understand why this... this and in, in, on the inside, she just doesn't care. She's like, why are you still here? This has gone on for two hours. Can I leave? Do I need to be having this conversation? It's not even a conversation. You're just blabbering on about something I have no idea about. Like, can, can, you, can you just leave? Leave me alone. I just want to watch my TV. There is something off with the characters, but I can't put my finger on it. I still can't figure it out. Oh, oh this one is... Hey, these are... Ah, these are thumbnails from the Curse Miraculous Images series. Uh, that's pretty funny. This one wasn't a thumbnail, but this one was, this was an image featured. Although I'm not sure if this watermark was in there. I can't remember. I think it may have been because this background sort of looks like the same color that I used in those videos. Yeah, maybe, or maybe not. I don't, I don't know, but these are definitely... Like, these are all images that have been featured in the Curse Miracles images. Now, obviously, like, you, I can't just say, like, oh, this or that. But these, this one for sure, and this one, these two were definitely thumbnails. So, just wanted to put that out there. Same situation, but Ladybug looks more angry. She cares about him a lot. Okay, so this one's Animan, and this one is Time Tagger. And it's both of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is a very similar situation. That's very interesting. I think the reason why why this one is I think the re like the title says Ladybug looks a lot more angry. The reason is because in this one Ladybug knowingly jumps into the T-Rex's mouth, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, whereas this one Cat Noir jumped in front of Ladybug, so this one it was Ladybug's choice to jump into the mouth, whereas this one, Cat Noir chose to protect Ladybug, so there was a little bit of a difference there, and that's probably why, because Ladybug, if she had lost this battle, uh, then like Cat Noir, like it just would have been over. But for this one, Cat Noir should have had in his mind, like Ladybug surely has some sort of plan because she chose to jump into the T-Rex, so it's like, not all hope is lost, you know? When someone says Cat Noir, when someone says Cat Noir, what everyone thinks of, what I think of, 
I suppose. <laughs> I suppose that's... And this would work even better in French. Because, like, everyone's gonna be thinking uh, it's just a black cat. But, uh, like, in English, if you say cat noir, it's like, okay. I mean, like, if you know a little bit of French, you can say, okay, well, that's, that's obviously a black cat. But it's like... If you're saying that in English, just out of no context or talking about it, it's like, okay, well, they're less likely to be talking about something that's, like, in French and more talking about a character of some kind. Whereas if you were in France and said Cat Noir, people would just be like, and? You know, it's a black cat, so what? But, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true, though. I mean, I've never really thought about it. It's just like, Cat Noir is this character. That's what I've associated with, even though I do know that Cat Noir is black cat in French, so... Uh, yeah, that's interesting to think about. Had to repost this, because it got taken down last time. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. We got a black, you know, talking about the black cat versus cat noir again. We've got a black cat with his tongue out. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then cat noir with his tongue out as well. And uh, they're the same picture. Yeah, well, why did this get taken down the first time? That's what I'm wondering. Is there a reason for it? Because, uh, I mean, this is just a meme. I don't see any reason for it to be taken down. But uh, it's funny how back-to-back -back we've had Black Cat and Cat Noir being compared to each other. <laughs> I have never seen something that is this accurate of my life right now. For the past two weeks or so, I have been up all night reading various Miraculous Ladybug fanfics. Me, sleep, Miraculous Ladybug, Miraculous Ladybug. Okay, so a couple things. One, I don't read fanfic, so I can't really relate. Two, I like getting sleep, so I go to bed fairly early. Uh, and three, I've been asked, like, hey, is there a reason why you don't read fanfics and this and that? And uh, the reason is because I just don't, you know? <laughs> it's like, I, I mean, I suppose it could be cool, but I just don't i suppose and then i've gotten a lot of people asking me like hey can i can you read my fanfic or this and that and i mean like as much as i don't like to turn you down it's just i can't read everybody's fanfics and this plays into a lot of things if i'm asked like hey can you join my discord server and hey can you do this and can you do this i have to decline as much as i want to do it i have to decline it because if i if i do it for one person I can't just say no to everybody else because then it's like, well, why did I let this one person do it, you know? So, uh, as much as I hate, you know, declining you guys on these, this and that and all these different things, I, I don't really have a choice. And just know it's nothing personal. It's just, it's so that I don't get wrapped into something that, you know, ends up taking over my whole day, you know? Because I just can't do this for every single person that asks me to do it for them. So... Uh, if I've ever declined you of something, I'm sorry, that's just the way it is, you know, I, I wish I could do whatever you asked me to, but I can't, so, sorry. Wow. Before. And. Now. Okay, so let's just sort of take a look at it, although I do think there was a better screenshot you could have used, you know, because, like, they've been in this pose before, but whatever. Um, okay, so... There's no reason to have all these characters change a whole lot. Also, this character is new. We haven't met her before, I don't think. Uh, like, Marinette, her hairstyle completely changed. I'm not sure why. I mean, I get like, oh, we want to change it up. Oh, this character's new too. Um, but like, is there, and this character. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting distracted by all the new characters. But, um, at like, is there really a reason to? Like, there's no big deal with just keeping everybody the same like especially if it was just a year like if this was one year ago and this is the next year like is it, is it really that big of a deal also uh max looks a lot older i feel like in this image than he does in this one this one he looks younger this one he looks older isn't that isn't that weird and also rose has long hair that's interesting yeah this is interesting i suppose i've never really taken the time to look at this but now that I do, you can see, like, everybody's clothes, for the most part, are, like, like changed just slightly, at least. Like, um, Sabrina, although she's not in this, her outfit is a little bit of a different color. Same with Kim's outfit. His sweatshirt's just a little bit different colored. Marinette's hair is a little bit different. We can't really tell with her outfit, though. Uh, Nathaniel's shirt is a little bit different. That's not, that is Nathaniel, right? 
It's not, yeah, that's definitely Nathaniel. That's not Mark. I was like getting them confused. I don't know if Chloe's changed, but anyway, uh, yeah, it definitely is a little bit different. I need to stop with these height posts. My life is like Marinette. Let me guess, because Marinette is your life. What? Uh, okay, no, because my life is short. What? Okay, I don't, I don't know if I fully understand this. Like, is Marinette, Marinette's not that short, right? I don't know. I'll have to like actually take a look at it, <laughs> like compare them side by side or something. But I don't remember Marinette being like that short. Is that just me? What? I don't. I don't know. Maybe like maybe I'm just forgetting, or maybe this post is just like over exaggerating. I'm not sure. Let me know. Even if they are unknown to each other, then also they are father and son, a family. Like father, like son. We've got. Dang. Uh, <laughs> oh no, this is kind of sad. Yeah, even though they might have completely different goals, they are still related, which makes them sort of inclined to do things like this. Kind of sad. I wonder if this was intentional or if this was just accidental. It has to be intentional, right? There's no way this was accidental. Or maybe it was, I don't know, because, you know, obviously they have these... This may have been accidental. This may have also been accidental. This one, actually probably accidental as well, because out of all of the times that we see them, like, Kent Noir is bound to do this, because he's got the, the staff, and same with Hawk Moth. He's got the crane here as well, so like, it may actually be accidental. I'm, probably, I don't know. Anyone feel like Pegaeus or Pegasus is underrated? Okay, the reason why I said Pegaeus is because it, it's been a while and like, okay, so when we were first making videos and when we first learned about the characters, it was in French. So the way that we, we pronounced it, because the way that that's the only thing we knew was Pegaeus. And so that's what I pronounced. It's Pegasus in English, but <laughs> that's funny. I can't believe I did that. I'm better than you. No, you ain't. I can teleport through time more than you. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, sort of. I mean, then again, we have really only seen him like twice. Once in, well, we've seen him in Party Crasher, and we saw him in Star Train. Are those the only two times? I think they were, right? Or maybe not? I can't remember. I think those are the two times that I'm remembering. We've seen her multiple times. We've seen her more times. But, uh... It does, it sort of does make you wonder, like, what the main difference is between this character, or this Miraculous, and this Miraculous is, because in this one, we saw that she was jumping, although, okay, I mean, obviously we know that she can travel through time, but also at the same time, it sort of acts like a teleporter, because you can travel in time, walk a couple feet, then travel back to that same period of time, and it's like you teleported. It, there's a couple extra steps to it though and i i suppose like technically with the bunny miraculous you could do the same thing with with the horse miraculous it's just it takes a little bit of extra steps and um you can really only although i wouldn't here's a question right you know how you can use your power once and then you have to wait five minutes until you, you know, become older or, you know, gain more control over the miraculous. Not entirely sure, like, what determines that. My question is, with the bunny miraculous, can you travel through time and then you have to wait five minutes? Or, well, that, no, then, so, okay, let me rephrase this. If you travel through time, like, say, for example, right now, if I wanted to go back two years, right? I have to, I go back two years, and then, like, after five minutes, I detransform, because that's my time limit, right? Or does it, can I travel through time, and then travel again back through time to go back to my current state, and then it starts the five-minute timer? I'm thinking that if you travel through time once, that's the, that's the counter, and then you have to wait that period of time, you have to detransform, give your Kwame some food, and then you can travel back. So, it only works for her, because she's a lot older and has more control over the Miraculous, so... That's like probably the big difference. Like, if Alex got her miraculous while she was still a teenager, then there would be more use for Kim because it's an in instantaneous portal. Whereas with Alex, it is like a 
portal and then you got to take a break and then portal again so there is a little bit of a difference there although that also does beg the question i was just remembering like she has a little like was it a bunny hole or like a hidey hole or something so like how does that work because if you're just in that hole or the burrow or whatever it was called like does it does it start a countdown timer or well, no, I guess it wouldn't. I guess it would just be like, if you go in and then come back out, then it's like, that's your power, right? In which I suppose if you were to just go in there, you could just stay in there for a long time, presumably, and then you could just go back out the same way that you came in. And then it's like, ha, I just waited you out. You know, I just like stayed in my little burrow for a while and then came back out like after, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever. So I don't know, I guess there is a lot of differences. We still don't know everything about these two Miraculous, so we would definitely be learning probably more in Season 4. It's been a month since I've joined Reddit mainly because of Miraculous, and I've never been happier to be a part of an amazing fandom. So here, blessing your day with a cute cat noir. Uh, okay, is there any audio? I don't hear any audio. Better be careful. Better only play that once or else I'll be copyrighted for the <laughs> entire video for showing four seconds of cat noir doing something. So, uh... <laughs> Thanks for blessing our day, I suppose. A 4K wallpaper for Miraculous. This looks like a really old rendition. So like, Zhang had a lot of like really old promotional art. And this looks like one of those. Because the, the, um, the bag, is that the yo-yo? I guess it's the yo-yo. I was just, it looks more like a bag. So I was sort of confused here. So it looks different. It's different in this version. And just overall, the outfit has a lot more creases in it in the older version. And her hair... She just looks a little bit different, so this does look like an older version. Although it is pro presumably from a different country, because I don't, I don't know what this is. So I don't know. Maybe this is some promotional art that they're still using, but it definitely does look like some of the older promotional art. And if if you look up videos, there's you, there's videos on YouTube to like that sort of show all the promotional art that we've had, like from the very early stages up until now and it's a really cool progression because you can see where miraculous started and sort of like the progression of the different abilities and the different like concepts that they had and it's just really cool to look at how far the show has come from the beginning to where it is now so yeah it's just really fascinating i attempted to make some fan art of ladybug oh this one's cool it's like is it, it's not watercolor, it's like, what's the word of, like, pastel? Is that what I'm trying to think of? It's like pastel, if that's what I'm trying to think of, and, uh, but it's digital. So that's pretty cool, you did a good job with it. I, like, part of me wants to learn how to do stuff like this, but then the other part of me is like, well, I don't have enough time to, like, devote myself to it, you know? <laughs> I've already got a couple hobbies, and it's like, those take up enough time as it is, so can't really learn how to draw and do all that stuff because i just don't have the time for it so i mean if i had infinite time in the world i would be a master of everything you know it's just we don't so i can't sad day isn't it oh noes just so you people know kagami means mirror in japanese marinette adrian <laughs> kagami <laughs> okay uh I mean, I think this is more of a coincidence, but, um, yeah, it definitely, this, for this scene, it's definitely a coincidence, but it's funny in this context. <laughs> the Kwame of Luck, Wufu, the Bat Miraculous, the Power of Luck, this sort of looks like something that would be for the uh, art contest, another plug for the art contest, although this doesn't really explain if it is for the art contest. I mean, it could just be a coincidence, but I'm just saying this would be a good submission. Although, I, I could go in and check to see if this was submitted or not. Should I? Maybe, maybe I will. Let's go check. Just checked, and it turns out it is in there. So that's pretty cool. They submitted it to the art contest. That's awesome. Well, I can't really uh, comment on, you know, what I like and stuff like that, because obviously that would probably i don't know maybe seem unfair for some reason not entirely sure but uh yeah i think it's cool i think all of them that we've gotten so far are cool just for you know putting it out there we have 151 responses as of recording this video so uh yeah that's a lot of responses so i think what i'm gonna end up doing is 
at least we're gonna do a bracket. So I'm gonna divide all of the different Kwames and randomly generate them into a bracket, sort of like March Madness, where it's gonna, they're gonna be going up against each other. And I'm not sure, it's probably not gonna be random, but I will probably go, I'll make a video on it and I'll probably judge, you know, these two Kwames up against each other and be like, okay, so which one would win in a fight, you know? So obviously you could be like, oh, well then doesn't that mean that one Kwame is more important? Like if, if a Kwame is just super overpowered, then like, doesn't that mean it's just gonna like win through everyone? But I will try to make it fair. And if there's one that's like super overpowered, then I would, you know, obviously dumb it down. But just depending on the situation, like maybe I'll have like a list of situations that they're in and see which Kwame would be better in a certain situation. I'm not sure, but I'll figure something out and have it be fair and stuff like that. And then the winner of that, I don't know what will happen. The, the giveaway from that video is completely separate from the contest itself. So the winner of the contest does not necessarily win the giveaway, but um, I don't know. We'll do something for the winner of that. But uh, yeah, and then I'm not sure like if it'll just be me judging or if it'll be like I'll get in a group ch chat with like TVC or something. Not entirely sure what's going to happen or maybe there will be multiple judges like doing their own like section or corner or like depending on how many brackets we split it up to. I don't know. It's going to be interesting because there's just so many submissions. So I'm going to have to do more brainstorming and obviously it's still like we still got half a month to go. So uh, yeah, we'll just see how many submissions we have at the end of the month, and we'll see what to do from there. Someone had to say it. Cat Noir, making my way downtown, walking fast, walking a little bit slower so my steps match with Ladybugs, because she... What? Again with the short one? She's not that short, is she? I don't know, I haven't looked at her official height, but, like, I, I, I don't, I don't, like, when I think of, I don't think of Ladybug as short, is that... Is she? I don't know. Am I going crazy? I'm not sure. Yep, power couple. Oh, uh, this is hilarious. It's the same expression. <laughs> That's so funny. What are the odds? Well, it's just, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's just a coincidence, but like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh, That's so funny. Although, Kenwar is not usually like that. Adrian's not like... That's... That's like a very rare expression from Cat Noir, so I, it's just, it makes me interested to see like, if Adrianette was a thing and they both knew who their identities were, like what, what personality would they take up? Because obviously Cat Noir is a little bit different from Adrian. Now, I do know like Thomas did say, or I don't know if it was, I think it was Thomas, who said their Kwamis do not affect their personalities, but I like, that it just seems it's so hard to believe that that's true like it just seems like plague has such an effect on adrian same thing with ladybug and tiki like ladybug is way more confident than marinette is so like it, it just is so hard for me to believe that the kwamis don't have any effect on their personality whatsoever so i i, I don't know like if if the kwamis do actually not have an effect on the personality of the wielder then maybe but like, like I I don't I I just I I I don't know, man. It's so it's so weird to think that it's not because like there's they're they're totally different people when they're transformed. It's like, well, if they're not affected, then what personality would they take up if they did if they were together and they knew what who they were behind their identities? So like, I just I'm interested to see like what personality they would take on because it's just they're two different people. And for the top post of the week, we've got Gabriel Agrest, accepting that your wife is dead, nah, uh, committing various acts of terrorism in order to rob two teenagers to bring her back to life. That's the route you've got to take. Uh, at first, I was thinking that this would be a, a post about the episode titled Gabriel Agrest, which honestly, because we got that news last week, and I was expecting to have a lot of posts on that because that feels like a fairly big thing. But there weren't actually any posts about that this week, so I'm kind of surprised because you would expect like, like whenever a new episode comes out, there's always news about it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we need to get some people on here to post upvote some news so that the people on the Reddit are informed. Because I don't think all of them are subscribed to the channel or check out MiraculousLadybugNews.com. So <laughs> yeah, if you want to stay up to date on all of the news relating to Miraculous, you can go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for content similar to this. Or you can always check out MiraculousLadybugNews.com. I will update you on both places. So uh, yeah. 
But that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. Feels like I just said that. Probably because I did. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, I just said that. If you, <laughs> if you enjoyed, you can go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. The Lucky Charm doesn't just give you what you want. Amir!